Ohio tortoise. I'm gearing up to do a video on how to make the ladder rack paracord bracelet based on a knot I learned from the Knot Heads Worldwide website by uh, Bud Brewer. I'll put the link to that. I have uh, modified it a little bit and use it to make a paracord bracelet. Before I get into that, what I'm going to need to do, because I want to switch the buckles that come with my ultimate paracord bracelet jig from 3 8 to the quarter inch, I'm sorry, 3 quarter inch buckles that I'm going to use for this bracelet, I'm going to record the process of swapping out buckle sizes for everyone's benefit since I do sell these jigs on paracordist.com. So my plan is basically to make another setup like you see here with the uh, 3 8 inch buckle, paracord loop, replicate that on this and then I can swap the attachment pieces. So I'm taking a piece of paracord, a few inches, actually it's roughly about a foot that I took from the scrap bag that I have and I want to flatten the ends, it's going to just make it a little bit easier for me to get them into the buckle. Be very careful when you work with burning paracord that you wet your fingers real good before you touch it and even then I'm not so sure you want to do that but my fingers are used to it so that flattens the ends of the paracord which I can then now insert into or from the bottom of the buckle here Okay, and then I will make what's called a girth, girth hitch, or a lark's head, and then work it tight. Okay. All right. I think I'll turn on the light here, which might help the rest of the video. Great. Now I just want to tie this off, tie off these loose ends here with an overhand knot. It doesn't have to be pretty. It's roughly the same size as the one that was on there. And tighten it up good so you don't have any play. Okay, now I can swap this piece out with the piece that's already on the jig. First I loosen the nut. Remove the washer. Remove and set aside my 3 8 inch buckle. Reset this new buckle pull it right up to the knot because we don't want this distance to change here during the work and then tighten I usually just hand tighten it but the more you tighten it certainly the less you have to uh, be concerned with it actually moving on you now I will uh, prepare the second piece. Okay, for consistency here, with the curve of the buckle facing upwards, I will insert the ends of my loop, or future loop, through the bottom, pull them through, And then insert these ends in here, forming my lark's head. Next step, install. Okay, tied it off with a simple overhand. Now, to remove the old and install the new, you lift the locking release bar here and you just turn it counterclockwise.
until it's off. Okay, set that aside. Remove the washer. Remove the smaller buckle. Install the next buckle. Washer. Thread this back on. Here you go. Adjust your clamp. And now it's ready to set for the bracelet length. So hopefully that helps you out. Check out this jig, www.paracordist.com. I will now uh, proceed to make the video for the ladder rack knot bracelet. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.